Hi, welcome to the 19th Hammer tutorial. This tutorial is going to be on making Funk Breakable, Logic Case, that picks random, and a math counter. So, I'm going to open up my pre built test area that I have. Delete everything from previous tutorials. Alright, and the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to make some blocks. Just out of brush some dev blocks they're just going to be 32 by 32 the dev crate material it's going to use snap to grid so I can make them really quick alright and now I'm going to place them on the ground alright so now I have these five random blocks they're just kind of they're just going to be chilling here so, what we're going to do here is we're going to make a contraption that's basically going to break one of these at random each time you press it. And it can only be fired three times. So three locks will break. So, the other thing that you're going to need to do is make a button. I'm just gonna be on the wall. Alright, so I have my button over here. So, now we actually have to make everything the proper entity. So, the button is going to actually become a funk button. So, you select the button, you press Control T, and you make it a funk button. And the name is going to have to be, you have to name something. So, I'm gonna name mine Break button and now you have to make each box a funk breakable with a name I'm gonna name it box one and inside the funk breakable we have a couple different things you can have it parented to something so it can move with it disable shadow material type this is usually one that you want to change these will probably be concrete or cinder block so change that and then strength is basically it's HP I'm going to make this 50 and you choose to give direction and minimum damage to hurt if you need any help or more definition on stuff you can always click the help button and there's the whole thing on inputs outputs on entity then in flags there's only break on trigger which means it can only be broken from like if you uh, button that'll tell it to break on an output I'm gonna have mine only break on trigger and then I'm gonna click apply and then you want to copy it paste it to your next box and you want to change the name each each box has to have a different name because if two items have the exact same name, if you fire an entity upon one of them, it'll fire it upon both of them. So if we tell box one to break, and there's two bo box ones, it'll break both box ones. So we have five boxes. And now, what we want to do is we want to create a logic case. I'm just going to call this break case. And... Logic case has many different uses. Um, I'll go over some in more uses in, in other tutorials. This one is just going to show you how to fire, pick random results on it. So it can fire a result at random. So what you want to do here is click add, and then on case one, box one, break. Now there are a couple different things that you can do with the funk breakable. There's color, and then you have a 255, 255, 255 RGB color chart and the override and then there's a whole bunch of other things set mass set health you can change all of that or do whatever you want to it later or you know whatever you want to do so and then you want to copy and paste it and then you want to make it case 2 box 2 break and then case 3 box 3 break etc and now we want to have our button when you push it it'll break a box at random so you want to select your button and press add on pressed break case pick random 
that's it it'll choose a random output each time but it'll only choose outputs for which ones are here so it can only pick one through five so on our button you want to click add pick random blah blah and now you want to create another entity and this is going to be a math counter not math counter math counter all right now i'm going to make this break counter so what the math counter allows you to do, it, it basically performs simple math inside the engine. So you want to leave start to start disabled to know, so it's always running. Um, it won't do stuff unless you tell it to. It's initial value, this is the value that it starts at. Um, zero is what I'm going to leave mine at. And then the minimum legal value. What this means is, this is the lowest it can go, no matter what. And the maximum legal, which means is the highest it can go. So if the maximum value is three, and you tell it to add five, it'll only go up to three. So I'm going to make mine 3, and also if you see here, if min equals 0 and max equals 0, no clamping is performed. What that means is if you leave them both 0, there will be no min or max. It'll just, it'll keep counting, or it'll keep going into the negatives no matter what. So you want to go back to your button, and add a new output, on pressed, break counter, add, and now you have the parameter over, uh, override available to you. You just want to put 1 in there. And if you notice, there's a couple different commands that you can do with this. There's set hit max, set hit min, which means if the hit max is 4 at the beginning of the map and later you need to change to 6, you can change it to 6 this way. Um, you can subtract or multiply, divide, you know, pretty much, you know, normal math. So now you want to go to your math counter and click add. And now you have on hit max, on hit min, out value, get value. I'll explain get value and out value in another tutorial. But hit max is when it hits that max value that you put in earlier, it will fire a command. So we want that, and it's the same for the min. So if it's at, so the value is at two and the minimum is zero, you can subtract two and it'll fire a command. But for this, we want to have break button, lock. So no other things can be broken. Make sure don't move is checked. And I'll compile this and I'll see you in Counter Strike. Alright, so we're in Counter Strike and the map's loaded. You press E on here and you'll see one box breaks, two box breaks, and a third box broke. And now if you press E on it, another box will not break. And now I'm going to do this again and hopefully it'll do what I want it to. Press E, box breaks, at random. Press E, another box breaks. Alright. So what just happened was it, bo it broke that box, and then that box. And then when we pushed it a third time, it tried to break a box that was already broken again. The box wasn't there, but it still tried to break it. That's the problem with uh, logic cases. They don't know that it's gone, and it still tries to fire it. There's a command that will let you see what commands are being fired in the game for your console, so if you put on SV Cheats, this only works in single player, well, on your own server, it will not work online, even if there are SV Cheats on, you'll put on ENT message draw 1. What this allows, it allows for uh, any messages to be drawn. You'll see a little box right there, when I killed myself, it said NPC killed. So now you press E on this, and you'll see lines got drawn, it added one to the math counter, and it picked random and broke. And this is very good if you're trying to troubleshoot, or you just want to see what's going on in the map. See? And that's all that's to it. Um, I hope this tutorial helped anybody with any problems that they've been having. Um, I'll make another tutorial on how to make logic cases not be retarded about breaking things. So, see, it just tried to break that box again. And I'll, I'll put it online as soon as I make it. Um, thanks for watching and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.